Eminard's reviews on sets are great and all, but he'll be the first to admit that he is first and foremost a collector, and as such, doesn't really touch his stuff much. And there's nothing wrong with that. As you can see, I'm pretty into the collecting side of things myself. However, I still love to play with them and fly them around, walk them around, roll them around, do whatever. And as someone who uses play features a lot, I have noticed a lot of things that somebody who is purely a collector is not going to notice. And so today I've got five problems with five sets that none of the big YouTubers are going to talk about because they do not notice them. But I'm guessing that a lot of you guys have noticed them, so be sure to comment down below if you've seen any of these. We'll start off here with the 2023 Ghost. This thing has maybe the coolest spring-loaded shooter launching mechanism I've ever seen on a LEGO set. But it doesn't work the greatest all the time. As you can see, it is really easy to accidentally flip it out. You can make sure that the cockpit is insecurely, but just because of the nature of geometry, this thing is always popping out. Now I've actually designed a modification in studio that I think will fix this. I've ordered the part, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you can see that video when it comes out about how to stop this from happening. Another pretty obnoxious issue that I've noticed is on the 2022 Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Now, if you do not own this set, you'd be forgiven for thinking that there are absolutely zero problems with it because this is a near perfect set, especially right here on the underside where there's just the perfect place to hold it for swooshing. But over the course of flying this thing around, it is very easy to push in those control panels on the inside. As you can see, they fold in really easily after a session of swooshing and quite often break when you try to push them back into place. Now this next one might seem a little goofy, but it is with the new Octoptara Tridroid. I imagine that many people's first instinct when they go to move this is like mine, and you want to grab it by the head. This is kind of similar to the Bad Bat Shuttles problem where a lot of people wanted to grab it by the top fin and they just had to train themselves over time to muscle memory their way into grabbing it by a different spot on the set. I think that this will be much of the same, as much as I would love to just grab these by the head, that's not really possible, you gotta grab them by the legs. Then going back to 2023, I think that there is a pretty big problem with the new Ahsoka shuttle. While swooshing it around, the wings are very loose. And I mean like, if you're flying the ship around and you just gotta turn it to the right a little bit, the wings will flop around a lot. For the most part, this issue was actually non-existent on the 2011 version of this ship, where they had an extra gear that just made it a lot less flimsy. And I don't know why they would have gotten rid of that feature, because that was such a good feature. As you can see, I'm actually swooshing it fairly hard here, and the wings are like, not moving. But moving on to the last one is the 2019 Millennium Falcon. Now, I've actually made a video detailing how to fix this issue, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out on the end screen. But this gun just flops around anytime you swoosh it. And then a little bit of a bonus one for you is Shin Hachi's Starfighter when you try to load up the stud shooters. I don't know if this is more so a me problem because I have really big sausagey fingers, but I find it incredibly difficult to load up this stud shooter just because it is such a tight squeeze. I feel like these stud shooters were not the most well placed because I really do have a difficult time getting it in. So absolutely comment down below and let me know if you have the same problem with the Starfighter 2. And well, there you go, a handful of issues that the big YouTubers won't tell you about because they don't notice them. Again, not a knock against any of these guys and not a knock against any of the sets. They're all still really good sets. I just think it's interesting that there are a lot of play feature issues out there that 
the big guys will just never know about. Unless they happen to see this video, in which case, hi, MNR or Solid Bricks or whoever else might be out there. And if you made it this far into the video, I really do appreciate you. And you should probably check out some of the content on the end screen now, including that one with the modification for the Millennium Falcon, and you should subscribe too if you made it this far, because chances are you liked this content and you'll want to see more.